there my fellow humans, it's your boy the Unusual Geek here. Welcome to the first video of Titanic Month. Today is April 13th, 2022. I know I told you guys I was going to upload a video every day for the month of April. I will explain what happened at the end of the video. Now before we go any further with talking about the tragedy of Titanic, I would like to address the tragedy that's happening right now. As we all know, the war going on in Ukraine right now is pointless, tragic, and needs to end. My heart goes out to all Ukrainians who are struggling with the loss of loved ones, struggling to stay safe and find shelter, and struggling to maintain their country's freedom. To President Zelensky and all the Ukrainian citizens who chose to stay to fight for their country, you are all inspirations to the world. There is no greater cause to fight than the fight for freedom. I stand by you. You are all heroes. And I wish you all the very best of luck. Glory to Ukraine. I'm not really sure how to transition from that. Uh, so I'm just going to grab my glass of brandy. And let's just go right into our first segment of Titanic 101. The Turkish baths were an exclusive first-class accommodation of the Titanic. They were located on F-deck between the swimming bath and the third-class dining room. The baths were designed in a Moorish style with heated blankets and service waiters. Passengers had to visit the purses office on C-deck to get a ticket in order to gain admission to the Turkish baths. There was a charge of four shillings per person for admission. This is the equivalent of one US dollar at the time or 27 US dollars as by 2021. The cool room was the central feature of the Turkish baths, decorated in a mix of Moorish slash Arabic styles. The walls were adorned with glossy blue green tiles and richly carved teak. Against one wall was a marble drinking fountain. The ceiling was deeply recessed and painted a deep crimson with gilded beams and hanging lanterns supported by pillars encased in teak. Unlike the Olympic, the Titanic's cooling room did not have an exterior wall, but still included fake portholes concealed by a carved Cairo curtain. The doorways were adorned with gilded semi-domes to lend an exotic defect. Throughout the room, there were teak folding chairs, damacus tables, and cushioned chase lounges for relaxation. There were also three small curtain cubicles for changing. Where we find Titanic's Turkish baths today is actually one of the most well-preserved rooms in the wreck, and that's thanks mostly in part to all the teak that was used in her design and because of how deep inside the ship it is located, where the harsh current can't reach it. And that's all for today's lesson. Class is dismissed. Wait, wait, wait. You're not dismissed yet. So... Last month when I made my promo video for Titanic Month, I made the promise that I was going to upload a video every day for the entire month. The reason why it's taken me so long to even upload this one video was because a lot of stuff decided it was going to happen at the last minute. Um, I'm going through a lot of personal things in my life. Um, my depression has spiked and it's been causing me to not want to make videos I haven't been motivated it's not that I don't want to make them it's just that I don't feel like it anybody who knows somebody with depression or has depression themselves will understand between work and being a father trying to juggle the work life with the home life it can be difficult and it's just been very overwhelming and I apologize that I broke that promise that being said, I have all the video ideas in my head. I'm just going to take a day um, and just record a bunch of videos. I do plan on live streaming Titanic VR at the end of the month. It's just not going to be virtual reality for me. I looked up how much the headsets were and to get the whole thing, it's really expensive and I can't afford it right now. But I am going to play regular and I'm still going to talk to you guys and we'll chat in real time and it's going to be fun. So don't worry, more videos are coming. I'm not going to completely abandon Titanic Month. I'm going to give you guys the content that you deserve 
from this channel from Titanic Month. That being said, this is the end of the first video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ding that little bell next to it so you guys can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. I'm the Unusual Geek and I'll see you guys in the next one. By the way, I know this backdrop, this background, is historically inaccurate. First of all, it's raining. It wasn't raining. Second of all, moon, giant ass moon. There was no moon on that night. No clouds, it was clear skies. The water was not this wavy. It was a flat calm. Everything about this is historically accurate. But this was the screensaver I found on my Amazon Fire Stick. So I just went with it. And for all of you Titaniacs out there who are bothered by this, I am too. Just try not to pay attention to it. It's just something for the background. I got a new shirt. Pay attention to that. Just a boy who loves Titanic. That's you. Okay, and cut.